Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Of Cruises and Destinations, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 18. After all this, I saw another angel come down from heaven with great authority, and the earth grew bright with his splendor. He gave a mighty shout, Babylon has fallen, that great city has fallen. She has become a home for demons. She is a hideout for every foul spirit, a hideout for every foul vulture, and every foul and dreadful animal. For all the nations have fallen because of the wine of her passionate immorality. The kings of the world have committed adultery with her because of her desires for extravagant luxury. The merchants of the world have grown rich. Then I heard another voice calling from heaven, Come away from her, my people. Do not take part in her sins, or you will be punished with her. For her sins are piled as high as heaven, and God remembers her evil deeds. Do to her as she has done to others. Double her penalty for all her evil deeds. She brewed a cup of terror for others, so brew twice as much for her. She glorified herself and lived in luxury, so match it now with torment and sorrow. She boasted in her heart, I am queen on my throne. I am no helpless widow, and I have no reason to mourn. Therefore these plagues will overtake her in a single day, death and mourning and famine. She will be completely consumed by fire, for the Lord God who judges her is mighty. And the kings of the world who committed adultery with her and enjoyed her great luxury will mourn for her as they see the smoke rising from her charred remains. They will stand at a distance, terrified by her great torment. They will cry out, How terrible, how terrible for you, O Babylon, you great city! In a single moment, God's judgment came on you. There is a decided difference between a cruise and a journey. Cruises sail out from port, they circle around a while, and return to the same place. A journey is going somewhere, a destination. The question becomes, is your life on a cruise or a journey? The answer to that question is the difference between a cruise, which has the purpose of enjoying the moment and being served whatever luxury pleases you, as opposed to journeying to a destination while helping others along the way to that same destination. Cutting to the chase here this morning, let's flesh out the cruise metaphor for life's three score and ten. The luxury cruise, which in reality isn't going nowhere, It is actually the very definition of hell. An endless cruise of self-gratification, luxury, and ease is a purposeless existence, not a life. We were not created for opulence and luxury. If that were the case, only Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, and Donald Trump, among others in that rarefied, gold-adorned crowd, have boarded the ship. The rest of us are mere imposters in life, thinking we're going somewhere but missing the point to eat, drink, and be merry because, as the inference has it, this is all you get. Admittedly, if there is no eternity, no God, no right and wrong, and therefore no accountability, that life's mantra is simply fine. Live it up. You only go around once. But if there is a God and he's in charge, because he created it all and we are accountable to him, those who love the cruise ship will dock in the same hell they sought to escape. Those leaving the ship will be full of lobster dip and shrimp delights, ten pounds heavier and a soul that is nailed to the piers. The angel of Revelation warns us to keep to the journey that matters, the one that travels through this life to the destination purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. For you today, Advent is an incredibly timely reminder that we are always in the destination mode. We are always rejecting the cruise mentality. We are living and working for the destination of a kingdom. As John the Baptist, that gospel voice, shouted out in the wilderness, we are preparing the way of the Lord. We are entering the journey carrying our own cross. You don't find those on a luxury liner. 
You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.